everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video, I want to show you how to reset your WHMCS admin password. Here at NameHero, we consider ourselves the leaders in reseller web hosting as we offer the WHMCS license complimentary with our corporate reseller package. We also provide tons of reseller resources on how to start a reseller web hosting business and how you can make money reseller hosting, how you can make a lot of money reseller hosting. Um, so if you want to check out those training tutorials, if you scroll down here to the bottom, you're going to see that we have our free reseller hosting 101 course. And this is free if you decide to sign up with this great. But if not, you don't have to. Um, regardless of your status with us at Name Hero, this course is available to you. Um, but because WHMCS comes with our corporate reseller account, we quite frequently will get tickets or customer requests on how to reset their admin password. Sometimes when you're just installing WHMCS, you can get overwhelmed in the actual installation. And especially if you're using a password manager, it's quite easy to accidentally misplace it or um, get kind of messed up. Um, a lot of times resellers are kind of confused because they don't have a WHMCS login and that's because they're a reseller with us. Well, we actually, WHMCS offers full support for our resellers. So if you go into our client area and I'm going to go over here and you go to support tickets and you go down here to the right, open a new ticket and you'll notice technical support. We have the link to that support desk for WHMCS. So you can click right here, and this is actually where you go to submit your tickets for WHMCS. You don't have to have a login up here. You can just click on support, you can go down here and find your issue, and you can just do error or problem. They have some suggested articles, or you can just submit a ticket here, and this is where you go to do that. See, it does not require any login. Now, if you want to try to reset your admin password yourself, um, I'm going to demonstrate on how you can go about doing that in this tutorial. So you have a couple different options to go here. Now, again, if you submit this ticket to Name Hero, um, all of our support techs are not trained on WHMCS. We try our best to put our best effort forth, but it really is an issue between you and WHMCS because in addition to offering the license to our customers, WHMCS offers full support for those licenses. So it's not like um, they just offer us a license key that we bundle with our packages. They also support the product fully. And so when you're wanting WHMCS support, your, your best bet is to actually go to them directly because they can actually see their files. Their files are encrypted on our end, so our support techs can't even see their files. So a lot of times you're just going to be going a lot of back and forth with our team when you can just submit directly to WHMCS and they can help solve your issue. But if you want to wait, hold off on doing that. I'm going to show you how to reset it. So here on your screen is a demo WHMCS I have set up. And this is the admin username and password where you enter this to get into your install. And this is where a lot of people um, have trouble on recovering. So the first thing that you want to try is click forgot password. And this is going to ask you to enter either your username or email address that you installed WHMCS with. This is by far the easiest way to go about it, is you can just type in the username that you set up when you installed it, or the email address if you don't remember your username, and this will actually reset the password for you. So this will send everything to that email address, you go in there, click a link, and it will reset it um, real nice for you. And so that's the first step that you want to do. Now, if this isn't an option, maybe you forgot your username, maybe you forgot what email address you use. Not not uncommon. We see it quite frequently actually in our support center. So let's go back to login here and um, let's um, walk through the manual way to going about resetting this. So the first thing you want to do is log into your, our client area at Name Hero. And so um, to get here, you just hover over account and click login and then you navigate to your package. So my example package here is resellerhostingus.com. So I'm going to be here inside the client area. From here, you want to go into cPanel, the cPanel of where you have WHMCS installed. So I've got it installed in my root domain. So I'm going to click Login to cPanel. It just takes a second to come right up here. So now we want to go into PHP My Admin because that's what's going to allow us to reset it. So you can see PHP My Admin is right down here under the Databases tab. You can also just type in PHP My and you can see it comes up right here. So we're going to click in here. And this is going to bring up all of your databases. So we want to look for your WHMCS database. And most of the time it has WHM um, in the suffix of it. So you can see this here is resell one um, with WHM 490. So that's the database. So I'm going to click it. 
And this is all the tables inside of the database. So now I'm going to look for table admins. So if I go on down here, you're going to see this table right here, table admins. And I'm going to click on browse. So now we see my username is rgray1. So now I know what my username is. Now if we click edit here, we're going to see some more details. So I can see my username is rgray1. And if I go down here a little bit further, here's my email address. So now I can use these to reset it. So I can go back over here, forgot password, and I can enter rgray1 or my email address, either one, and click reset and now it's going to send me an email um, to get that reset. And so if I go back to the database and look, this is the actual email that it's going to send it to. So this is your best option on trying to reset your password is to actually email it um, to yourself so you can get back in there. Now there's another method that's um, a little bit more in depth or in detail, and that's if you don't have access to this email, because believe it or not, we have seen that happen as well. So what you can do is you can go up here to where it says password. Now, of course, this is not your password. This is encrypted. So what we have to do here is first thing is below password, you have the password hash. We need to delete the password hash because we're going to reset the password manually. So we're going to delete this. And now under password, we need to select MD5, MD5. And then here we want to type in a new password. So I'm just going to type in Ryan Gray 2018. So now I'm going to do that. Now remember, my username is rgray1, so go ahead and copy that and remember this. So we're going to go down here and click go. And then let's give it another shot here. rgray1, Ryan Gray 2018 and log in. And so now we are logged in. So that did reset it for us. So now the first thing is you want to do is you want to try to enter your admin username, your admin email address. If you don't know that, go into the database, find out what it is, and try to enter it that way. If that still doesn't work or not an option, and then go through, empty the password hash, and then reset the password, but make sure that you select the MD5 under it so it re-encrypts it. Because now if we go back in here, you can see it's been re-encrypted. So it did that because we selected MD5. So that's how you do it. Um, it's not too complicated, but it's necessary, especially if you, if you lost that information when you first installed it. Um, obviously, the best route is to try to write that stuff down or put it in a notepad when you install it. It, but sometimes you do have to do it manually. But that's all there really is to it. Now, if you still have issues, you're welcome to contact the WHMCS support team. Um, they would basically need your cPanel username and password, and then they can troubleshoot it a little bit further. Um, and that's just really how you go about it and, and get your stuff reset. But that will get you back inside of your WHMCS admin area. So thanks a bunch, everyone, for watching. I hope this helps you solve your problem and have a great experience with us here at NameHero.com.